Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Hi guys, today we are going to study a torsion of thin multi cell cross section. Most of the aircraft vehicle structure are thin wall structure. So, the entire load acts on the skin. The skin acts as a longitudinal members in resisting the applied load as well as torque. So, this applied torsion and the shear forces transmit the aerodynamic forces to the longitudinal and tra transverse supporting members. To resist the applied torsion and the shear forces in an aircraft structure we are using a multi-cell structure for an effective load distribution. An aircraft wing cross-section which comprises of n number of cell. The wing section comprised of n number cell carries a torque T. Due to pure torsion, no direct stress occurs but only shear stress occurs on the skin. All due to this, all individual cell experience the same amount of rate of twist that is beta the in beta will be same throughout the cell each cell develops a constant shear flow like q if there is n number of cell so the shear flow is q1 q2 q3 till the qn similarly Individual torque generated in each cell is unknown. They are denoted by the letters T1, T2, T3 till the Tn number of cells. As per the Brett Prato theorem, the main goal to prove that the same result remains true for a thin tubes with a multi cell cross section that is T equals to 2Q AE. T is a torsional moment, Q is a shear flow and A is the mean enclosed area. So, a individual torque generated in each cell is unknown. So, this can be found by for an equilibrium condition. The applied torque T must be equal to the summation of the torques generated in each cells that is T1, T2, T3 till the Tn. So, this can be written as T equals to summation of 2Q AE. So let's see one case study as shown in figure. You can see there is two multi cell. The question is a two cell tube with thickness 0.2 mm is subjected to a torsional moment of 20 Newton meter. The resultant shear flows in the two cells are Q1 and Q2 as shown below. The torsional balance equation for this section leads to there are four options. Let's figure out the solution. According to the Brett Prato formula, we know T equals to sigma 2QA. Here we are using a multi cell structure. So we can recall the area A1 equals to A2 as per the given figure. So we can denote that A1 equals to A2 equals to A that is equivalent to 18 to 10 power minus 4 meter square now therefore substituting in the above equation 20 that is given equals 2 q1 a1 plus q2 a2 here a1 and a2 is same so we have written 2 2 open the bracket q1 a plus q2 of a applying the value we get as q1 plus q2 equals to 12500 newton per meter so our right answer is option C. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.